My name is Jose Carrillo. I am professor at the University of Oxford. Uh, my name is Jing Wen Hu. I'm an associate professor of applied mathematics at the University of Washington in the United States. Um, my name is Jacob Pedrosi, and I'm a professor of mathematics at University of Maryland College Park in the United States. Okay, I will start. Um, so, kinetics theory dates back to Maxwell and Boltzmann. So, it uses the statistical physical viewpoint to describe the non equilibrium dynamics of uh, a complex system that are compressed of a large number of particles. So, uh, it serves as an important uh, building block uh, to bridge the macroscopic dynamics and also the macroscopic dynamics. So, for this program, uh, we aim to uh, expand the knowledge. Uh, in uh, analysis, uh, numerical modeling, and uh, also applications of the kinetic theory. And we, we are hoping to bring experts in various fields to, uh, to uh, foster uh, interactions and collaborations. That's a good summary. <laughs> <laughs> I take a bit uh, here the answer. So, uh, kinetic theory, uh, you know, as uh, Jing Wei said in the introduction to uh, the theme, is, bring, is bridging microscopic uh, descriptions to microscopic descriptions and somehow through this middle ground of uh, kinetic equations. So, uh, the classical applications of kinetic theory started with uh, the description of gas molecules in this room. So, you want to uh, understand uh, the behavior of the uh, air, uh, of the molecules in the air and the pressure that is produced by the movement of the molecules. That's how Maxwell and Boltzmann started. But now these applications have come to many other fields, like in uh, plasmas or in uh, uh, electrons in a semiconductor, uh, spiking neurons in a network, uh, uh, pedestrians, uh, animal swarming, and uh, many math biology applications. And in all of them, the common point is that you have uh, the description of uh, many body interactions that you want to extract average information and to sp express in terms of average quantities the collective behavior of, of uh, that system. And kinetic theory uses tools of the statistical mechanics, mean field limits, to bridge this from microscopic descriptions to macroscopic descriptions. And uh, I think that's why it's timely, because it has plenty of new applications. I don't know if my colleagues want to add more on the application side or... Um, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there's, uh, there's both new and old applications, and even some of the old applications, like plasma physics, a relatively old application. There's uh, still so much to be done and so much to be learned, um, both from the mathematical side and from the application side, even all the way to engineering. So all the way from pure math to engineering and everything in between. Mm -hmm. There's still exciting things to do, and, uh, and we're learning a lot uh, every day. And actually, now is a good time to to make to make progress in those areas. In fact, even though they're they're actually quite well studied. So I guess from the standpoint of mathematical analysis, which is most mostly what I most of what, what I do, um, is uh, so the the mathematical models that come up in kinetic theory are somewhat unique. In, in that they, they're not quite like any other model that arises in, in other fields of math, but they, they contain components from all of the other pieces of math, but in a sort of strange and unique way. Um, and this makes it a really exciting place to, to do mathematics, both for sort of developing methods for kinetic theory and for developing methods you know, from other fields to bring in kinetic theory and also to export methods from kinetic theory to other, to other fields, which has also happened. Um, and uh, you also tend to get wrapped up in the applications um, and and the, the conversation goes both ways. So the uh, mathematical analysis can inform a lot um, the numerics and the applications and, and vice versa. So I think um, attacking some of these challenges, understanding how to go, really a clear mathematical understanding of how to go from particle systems to these kinetic models is still very, we've made a lot of progress, but it's still not very well understood. So there's a lot of interesting things there. And also kinetic theory, they tend to have some, some strange dynamics that is very unique to kinetic theory. And we're just now starting to understand um, you know, uh, effects called, called Landau damping and, and other kind of effects which, which transfer information um, sort of a, from macroscopic observable things to kind of microscopic scales, but the information isn't, isn't lost. Uh, and so it's a little bit difficult to keep track of this mathematically and, and also uh, numerically. Uh, and so um, I think these challenges make it a really exciting 
uh, area to do mathematical analysis. Okay, maybe I'll say some, some more related to numerical side and also the application side. So as Jacob mentioned, so kinetic equations, they, uh, uh, they are unique in the sense these equations uh, has a rich mathematical structure. So for example, the conservation, the entropy, uh, and also uh, the baby in high dimensional space. So this uh, pose uh, a, a very uh, big challenge for numerical uh, simulations. So uh, we're hoping, so in the, from the numerical side, to develop accurate and efficient uh, method that can preserve the structure uh, of, of these equations right uh, at the discrete level and also uh, due to its uh, uh, indispensable role in the multi scale modeling right so uh, uh, we're hoping to get more uh, uh, advanced method uh, to uh, to address the multi scale uh, simulations and uh, recently, also with the advance of scientific machine learning, we are hoping to also bo uh, borrowing the techniques uh, from that field to help us to, to do a better like uh, model reduction, dimension reduction. Yeah, one well, should mention that one of the main challenges is how to overcome the high dimensionality of these equations. And uh, on the application side, uh, uh, that's especially important, for instance, in plasma physics because uh, then if one wants to use this kind of models in practice, it's, let's say for real uh, fusion plasmas in the ITER project, uh, then uh, one really needs to uh, go to a very large number of uh, interacting particles. So not only there, also in math biology, also the last 10 years, there have been uh, a tremendous amount of uh, new uh, applications of kinetic theory and uh, that is also one of the challenges. Uh, start thinking about uh, um, the, the, uh, how to um, exchange ideas between the applications, the numerics, and the math analysis in the usual feedback loop that we do in applied math. Yeah, we can elaborate a bit more in what we said in previous. Uh, Previous questions in the following sense: the main uh, the, the main reason why kinetic theory has been so successful in the last 20-30 years is because it uh, starts by uh, looking at the interacting particles being particles, the little uh, components of the system. So, in the case of, uh, for instance, in the case of animal swarming, would be the individuals that are. Uh, that are in the fish show, say that, uh, that maybe there are fish shows of millions of individuals. Or in uh, the molecules in a gas, of course we know 10 to the 23 uh, of, or higher in uh, all this room. So, I mean, uh, the, the basic uh, component is always to look at the interacting particle system. What are the interactions between those particles? How to extract then uh, mean field limit, which is a kind of or different kinds of average limits that gives you somehow the information at a larger scale, which is very difficult to follow or track every single particle in the system, but then you go to that average information. So that's why uh, the broad um, uh, set of applications of kinetic theory. But uh, mainly in our program, we uh, somehow highlighted uh, plasma physics. And I don't know if uh, maybe Jacob wants to talk a bit more about that. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, plasma physics. Yeah, oh, we can yeah. discuss the other applications. Then uh, other applications that we put is, uh, as I said, the math biology applications before because uh, they have uh, received a lot of attention in the last 10, 15 years. Um, and uh, we have also started to look at possible connections to uh, data science, machine learning, and um, optimization methods because they use a lot also interacting particles to uh, perform certain tasks and I think uh, the interplay and the discussion with them will open new research avenues. So I think these are the three main uh, applications where we highlighted this time. Yeah, yeah so I think, um, so for example in, in plasma physics this is a very classical application of kinetic theory but it's still not really fully explored and very far from being understood. Um, because, you know, plasmas, you, um, they, they, they live in such a, in a physically extreme setting that you really need kinetic theory to describe their dynamics. But kinetic theory tends to happen, I mean, these are very high dimensional equations and even modern supercomputers 
we can't really compute good good answers yet. Um, and Jingwei will explain the, the the numerical difficulties. But I think just just in general, um, I think that's a really good application area of kinetic theory, where all all pieces of applied mathematics can make interesting contributions, because the equations are so challenging, and plasma physics is such an important um, potential area of application in terms of de developing fusion. Uh, technology and for also understanding dynamics of the of, of the ionosphere on the Earth and, and other aspects such as this, um, and um, yeah, so maybe you can explain some of the difficulties in the numerics. You you know better than me. Okay, yeah. So I, I, as has been said, I mean, uh, plasma physics is a classical uh, application of kinetic theory, but still yet a lot of, uh, to be understood both uh, analytically and also numerically, uh, especially numerically. I would say. Uh, uh, in the past, most of the understanding is related to the collisionless uh, kinetic equations, but not really uh, adding the collision. So now uh, we wanted to see uh, if we include, I mean, to for a real uh, accurate uh, uh, simulation of the plasma, you have to include all the effects, right? Like uh, electromagnetic field effects, particle transport, and also particle collisions. So now uh, 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 with the advance of numerical tools, uh, uh, I think it's time to, to, to investigate uh, the, the, the interactions of all these uh, um, 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 I mean, a phenomena, right, in, uh, in plasma physics. Finally, I would like just to add that uh, in math biology, also another aspect is how to get uh, very macroscopic equations like hydrodynamic equations. Uh, using kinetic theory as a way of incorporating all the details of the macroscopic dynamics, and this has been very successful in the last 10, 15 years, but still a, lot, uh, a long way to go in other directions like tissue growth, or uh, or uh, neuron dynamics, I mean, uh, spiking neuron uh, models. So when we put together the program and also uh, the selection of participants, we tried very hard to uh, to bring together uh, researchers in very really various fields uh, that uh, related to uh, to kinetic theory uh, from the uh, theoretical PD side, from the um, modeling side, from the numerical side, and also uh, from the, the application to mass bio and uh, uh, engineering and the plasma physicists. So we hope to, to bring really a wide spectrum uh, of participants to interact and uh, uh, collaborate uh, and hopefully to generate some new ideas out of it. This is the most exciting part. Uh, yeah, I think uh, if we uh, arrive to, uh, uh, to make connection with the, the, the new different communities we have put together in some of the workshops, that would be already a, a good impact of this uh, program. Uh, for instance, in these new directions I mentioned before, data science, optimization, and, uh, and uh, applications in machine learning, that could go both ways. We could use their techniques to improve some of our schemes. It could be that we could use the ideas of multi-scale modeling to attack there. So I see a potential impact also in, in that particular direction. Yeah, I mean, definitely in mathematical analysis, um, certainly I think one of the areas that, that we want to bring even more into play than there already is, kind of between probability uh, and the, 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 the partial differential equations used in kinetic theory, and also through the derivation of the particle models um, to these intermediate mesoscopic models that, that, that comprise kinetic theory. Um, and also the mathematical analysis of kinetic theory, it, it requires information from lots of different fields of, of, of analysis and partial differential equations like, you know, people who study wave equations and things like that, that actually has something to, to do. If now, you, now if you want to study waves in, in plasmas with kinetic theory, now you need to actually understand um, math from wave theory, you need to understand math from trans, you know, from more transport-like equations to understand effects like window damping and, and uh, phase mixing. Um, and to understand collisions, you need to understand a lot of classical techniques about elliptic equations, but now adapted to um, something called hypoelliptic settings, which is in kinetic theory, and that's really a, a kind of it's 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 studied, but not as not nearly as well studied, and it's still a very active area of research on how to get sort of all these different disparate pieces of math to come and talk to each other, all in the same equations, where they're all kind of interacting in a really messy and uh, fascinating way that has its own structure, but also you, you know. Um, 
And so actually getting some of these different fields to talk to each other in kinetic theory can also potentially produce ideas relevant to other fields. And that's actually already happened. Um, some ideas that were kind of pioneered in, in kinetic theory have been used now in, in other branches of, of PEEs. Um, um, building up a little bit on that, for instance, one example is uh, blasov landau equation. We know more or less a lot of properties of the Blasov equation, which is without the collisions. We know also some properties about the uh, Landau equation and itself, the homogeneous problem. But when you put them together, our knowledge is still quite, uh, limited. quite low. Quite yeah. limited. We, we, we're still doing very active research on very basic questions, uh, and the active research is hard. Uh, and so there's a lot, of, a lot of exciting work to be done. Yeah.